They can't keep a good man down Always keep a smile when they want me to frown Keep the vibes and I stood my ground They will never ever take my crown Who oh, damn bless I say no man hurts Things getting better when they thought it would be worse Here comes the officers asking for a search They found no weapon just only a draw first But I'm so sad he does to another episode of Shop Talk, YouTube's premier off-the-clock appliance repair talk or off-the-clock appliance repair text. I'm your host with the most, Brother V, and you can be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me, and I appreciate that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special guest tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, we have, in my opinion, one of the most important guests this channel can have. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a military veteran, military officer, fellow appliance repair comrade, TMM academic alumni member, all in all the guy, he could be the next president if you ask me, could do no wrong. But ladies and gentlemen, hailing all the way out of Albany, Georgia, my good friend, my brother from another mother, and my hero, one of the officers, anybody that served in the military is a hero to me. Brother Lamar Station. Brother Lamar, please introduce yourself. Tell us all about yourself, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Lamar, for being on the show, sir. Hey, Brandon. Thank you, man. It's a pleasure to be on your show. Um, I've been following you for a while. And I appreciate what you're doing for the industry. Um, you're really helping us, helping us all out and helping us get to the next level. Um, so, hey, you already gave a great introduction, and I really appreciate that. So I'm Lamar Station. I'm the owner of Appliance Professionals of Louisville. And I am a, uh, I recently retired. So uh, in May of this year, I retired after serving 23 years in the military. Um, so I started in the Air Force for four years, switched over. Um, to the Army National Guard, uh, Nebraska National Guard. Uh, you know, did my you know, one week in a month, two weeks in the summer, did that for a while. And then I kept getting deployed. So finally, I was just like, you know what? I need to do this full time. You know, so I joined the Army Active Guard Reserve Program. Um, decided to do it full time. I'm a human resources officer. Um, and then migrated from a human resources officer into a uh, full time appliance, uh, appliance owner. And I've been doing that. I started part time about two years out before retirement, and now uh, January I started I started full time, and, and I'm just loving it. Brother Lamar, again I want to thank you for your service. Thank you for serving our great country. I don't talk too much politics on here, but let's just say I love America because of what it allows us. Uh, my family uh, mm -hmm. is from Jamaica and Cuba, but my my. my Cuban side, you know, they, they tell me, my grandparents, you know, people that I were alive, and I know they tell me about the struggle with communism and socialism, mm -hmm. and they, I couldn't have my business in that kind of government, so I thank you for protecting, you know, the freedoms that we have here in America, and I thank you, too, for being frontline and putting yourself, you know, out there for us, so truly, I thank you for that. Thank you. Uh, but I want to talk a little bit about that transition, man. You say, I mean, you had everything going in the army. I'm assuming that you're on your way out and you wanted something to lateral over. To. You wanted to switch, right? Now, how yeah. the heck did you, how the heck, you got all these talents, you got all these skills. I mean, you got a million and one things. How the hell did you, did you get on appliance repair? What made you think of that? Well, okay. So first off, uh, interesting story. First off, my mom, you know, she's down in South Carolina. And, you know, she told me, she said, hey, you know, I see you, you know, working at some company, being an executive, wearing, you know, a shirt and tie every day. Um, and I told her, I said, yeah, that sounds good and all. But, um, you know, I'm good with my hands. You know, I, I, I use my mind, but I'm, I'm mechanically inclined. So I wanted to do something that, you know, was more with my hands. So what happened, um, Brandon, about three years out, about, you know, Three years out prior to retirement, we started kind of looking, looking across the landscape and seeing what we wanted to do as far as retirement, me and my wife. And first thing I latched on to was a franchise. Uh, there was a franchise that was just starting uh, called Home Technology Handyman. 
And it was all about, you know, home theater, TV mounting, um, you know, everything to do with the home theater experience. So signed up for that, um, had two vans, you know, had got them wrapped, you know, was doing a marketing plan, you know, franchising, it's like a step by step, just add water kind of thing. Um, so, you know, I was doing that. And then about a year and a half in, I talked to the franchise owner and I said, hey, you know, I said, I've been, you know, on YouTube watching, you know, brothers like Brandon, you know, some of the other superstars out there. And I said, um, I want to add appliances to uh, the portfolio. And he's like, you know, that, that's a good idea. So he allowed me to add it in. And so I went, you know, got trained in appliances, got some training, added it as part of the portfolio. Um, got out there, Brandon, and appliances just it just took off. Like the business model just changed. Like 80% of our business was appliances and 20% was home theater. Um, so then when COVID happened, uh, the franchise owner came back and said, hey, you know, some of the investors are getting kind of shaky about, you know, how this COVID thing's gonna gonna work out. So we're allowing people, we're allowing franchisees to uh, either continue with us or get out of the contract, get out of the franchise agreement. So I told him, I said, hey, um, appliance is taking off anyway. So I'm just going to, I'm going to exit the franchise and spin off and do my own appliance company. And so uh, spun off. And then with appliance professionals of Louisville, uh, this thing just took off. But the big thing I want to highlight is it took us planning three years out. That's number one. The second thing is the military was very, um, I'm sorry, let me say that the military has a program that allows you to ease your transition from the military to the civilian, civilian world. So all I had to do was go to my commander, who's a colonel, 06, and say, hey, I want to try the DOD's program, which allows me six months prior to getting out of exiting the military to work full time in the appliance industry. Um, now, the only caveat is, you know, during that period, I was not allowed to get, you know, compensation outside of the military. So military, military still paid me, still paid me benefits. I still had to check in with my leadership uh, periodically. But that allowed me to do a smooth transition to work the kinks out and to make sure that everything was set up properly uh, for the transition. And I'm telling you, in that six months, I got as much training, uh, hooked up with mentors like yourself. Um, did your online classes, and it just it just made it a whole lot easier. And and, and I, I always encourage people take advantage of the resources that are given, and you know look into it's called the career skills program. Look into the career skills program that is afforded to service members to be able to get out early and pursue their passion as they as they transition. Brother, and listen, you weren't lying, man. Um... I tell the the viewers a little insight about me, brother. I had my first before I had my training facility. Now my very, 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 very first uh, hands-on event. I didn't even think I had two thousand subscribers yet. I think I was at like one point six or one point five k. I had a little fan base and uh, well, subscriber base. Forgive me. And I didn't have no, no, no real like credentials. I was like maybe a year or two into YouTube and you took a chance, man. You say, man, I watched your videos. I know you got this hands-on thing and I want to come down. And you even paid and you couldn't, you couldn't make it or something or whatever. And I was like, man, don't worry. I'm going to do another one, man. And when it happens, man, I want you to come on down. Yeah, so let me talk. Let me talk about that. So at, at that point in time, you know, I was still serving. So I was trying to line my leave dates up with when your training was, you know. So I had I had this thing mapped out, like like I was ready. Okay, so I had reached out to you, and I was like, "Hey, Brandon, man, I like what you're teaching. You know, tell me more about it." And you know what really got me with you is you were just so responsive. You know, like you pick up the phone, you call me, we have a conversation about it. You know, you want to make sure I was comfortable with it. Um, you know, so I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm like, this guy's a professional. Like, he has figured it out. So I put my money down, and, and as I got closer, I just couldn't make it work, you know. So when I called you, you know, like, you know, you respected that. You said, hey, man, he's like, I got you. <laughs> He's like, hey, don't, don't even worry about it. I got you, okay? 
you know, and you took you taking care of me, man. I, and I really appreciate that. This says a lot about you as a professional and the program that you run. And that, that that's probably the best investment, one of the best investments I've made. Let's make this story a little interesting. And let's make it a little uh, to, to the to the to the journey, if you will. I walk with Terry, and now you're running calls doing what? TV Mountain. You finished doing that, and you said, I want to add a client. Said, well, not to be finished, but during your time doing that, you said, I want to add appliances to my repertoire. And I want to, and now you, you become the full out owner of appliance professionals out of Louisville. What's, what's the beginning of that? Like, I mean, you're in the military, you're, you're, you know, you're, you're responsible for human resources. Like you, you, you're doing a whole nother animal now. You're in people's homes. You're in the, in the, in the service industry. You got appointment windows. You got theory. You got tools. You got pricing. I mean, how, how? I know that you said that the military prepares you. And I know that, um, you, the your, the level of discipline and, and, and the the life skills you learn in the military to prepare you for anything. But tell me the beginning. Walk me through some of your struggles. Be that voice for that man or woman that will tell them what to expect. Tell them how it went for you. And and I know you're gonna keep it good. But tell me some of the struggles too. You know and and. Walk me through what it's like for a veteran to enter into the appliance repair industry. All right. Can you, can you still hear me? So, yeah, I heard, I heard your question, Brandon. Um, and, and here's the thing. So one of the challenges of, of being, you know, full-time um, active duty at the time is that you don't control your time. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. You know, at the end of the day, you have soldiers underneath you. Um, you know, you have your military requirements, so you still got to do your physical fitness training. Um, you still got to be available 24-7 um, if someone needs assistance. Uh, you, you know, you have to be readily available. So the, the biggest challenge was, was just time management, you know. Um, and one of the pit stops that I made through there that I didn't mention earlier is I knew that I would have to uh, improve my customer service skills um, at the same time, like you said, going into customers' homes, um, it was a lot more of trying to um, negotiate and build relationships and making people feel very comfortable. Um, so one of the pit stops I made was I was doing um, some weekend hours um, in the Geek Squad call center for Best Buy, um, doing over the phone support. You know, um, so the key point there is it forced me to just try to get an understanding of, okay, what am I real good at? So in the military, I was doing a lot of operational roles, you know, so that was all about just making things happen, you know, moving pieces, visually kind of seeing how things come together um, and being proactive and trying to get ahead of it, you know, wasn't so much the whole, you know, customer service, you know, when the person over in the beginning, trying to build that rapport and those relationships. Um, so that's something that I had to work on. And, you know, early on, you know, with, like with customer service and corporate, you're rating on, you're rating with, you know, MPS scores, or, you know, you finish the call, whatever, customer goes, does a quick survey, and they give you a rating um, to say how well you did, you know, and, and some of those feedback, some of the feedback I had with supervisors going over MPS scores, was kind of humbling, you know, it's like, hey, you know, you need to make sure you, you know, try to understand more of the customer's perspective and, you know, really define the problem and things like that. Um, so customer service is one of my things. Uh, the other part was just, so what happened is the base I was at is Fort Knox. So Fort Knox is about 45 minutes south of Louisville, okay? And it's, you know, it's a military town, but there aren't a lot of residents um, outside of uh, kind of the base area there. So you got a small population. So most of the jobs are, you know, 45 minutes to an hour north, hour and a half in some cases. 
So you line these jobs up, you know, you get off work at four, <laughs> you know, you got to go drive an hour, to hour and a half, work on uh, your appliance, um, identify the issue. Of course, you know, if you don't have the part, which a lot of times I didn't have the part, um, you had to order the part, you know, and then go back. So I was spending a lot of time on the road um, and it, that just, you know, wasn't very efficient um, for what I was trying to do. So after I got out, I ended up pretty much moving into my market, you know, like when we, we got out, look for a house, it was like in my market. And I, I quickly learned the correlation between how far I'm driving, how long I'm taking to do a job and my profits, you know, now I'm in a 10 to 15 minute radius when I touch jobs. And that's, that's really helped too. But I had to learn that. And then the third thing is, Brandon, when I first started, I, I was using some, I'll just say some shady marketing sources, <laughs> paying, paying $100 a month and, uh, and, and getting leads that, that weren't really helping me. You know, like you, you pay $20, $25 for a lead and it's going to six people, um, you know, or they're junk leads, you're trying to close the deal. And the only thing the company tells you when you call them is, hey, be the first person to call, you know, you'll close these. I'm like, dang, first person out of six, seven, you know, it doesn't really help my odds very well. And especially if you call the person and nobody answers and I'm still getting charged for them. Um, so that, those were just some of the challenges I had up front. But what I would tell the uh, military member who is transitioning, the biggest thing is start planning as early as possible. I would say 24 to 36 months out, put the pen to the paper and figure out what you want to do. Ideally, you are centering your decision around your skill set. You know, what am I very strong at? What am I naturally, you know, inclined to do? And it may not be the thing that you've done for the last, you know, 15, 20 years of your career. Um, you know, by that point, you figured out, hey, here's the things I like. Here's the things I don't like. And here's the things that I want to pursue. And there's a lot of resources. You know, there's a transition assistance program, which is top notch. You know, they spend a lot of, they put a lot of money on this. So 24 months from you leaving the military, you're eligible to join this program and they go over everything. They teach you about budgeting, they teach you about job searching, they teach you about how to build a resume, they teach you how to deal with skill assessment. You know, they teach you, they, they, they tell you all the benefits and, and things that are out there for you. And, and that's critical. These are paid counselors, it's the paid program, and, and um, you have to take advantage of it. You have to maximize it. And you're sitting in a room with a lot of people who are kind of at that same crossroads in life. And then you start building a peer group and you start talking amongst each other and, and you grow and you learn that way too. Brother, you know, uh, one of the most uh, uh, important um, um, standards of me doing business to help me excel was when I was with doing a warranty with Sears, the customers can give opinions. I say all that because you said that you received some opinions and that some of them were, you know, a little tough to, you know, confront, but they helped in your uh, growth. And brother, when you said that, I was referring, I was uh, recanting some of my experiences of when I started and uh, don't worry, man, I got those. Uh, oh, he imagine Brother B. Can you imagine this guy now that stands up there and teaches this and that? Can right. you imagine that guy that used to write uh, messages on Sears? And uh, you had to get a uh, 10 was the highest customer score, but they would give me like a seven or eight and say he was cool, uh, but lacked a little knowledge, uh, didn't seem confident, uh, a little hesitant or, you know, so those, those uh, you know, uh, reviews about oneself, they, they help, man. And if you have thick skin right. and you look at it not as a personal attack, but rather like a way to like, damn, this is something I got to work on. Like it definitely becomes, it, it helps you, you know, uh, be a better technician that much faster because think about bad habits that we have and that if it's not up to a customer pointing, pointing it out to us, we continue to have that bad habit. So sometimes in the beginning, 
like to anybody just starting, like expect those, you know, little nitpicks and that and this, you know, mind you, Lamar, we're dealing with different cultures, right? You know, in the military, y'all probably had like a different, you know, camaraderie or different, you know, culture or, or code of conduct that y'all dealt with one another. And you used to that for 20, 30 years of your career. Now you get out and you're dealing with a Karen. It probably threw you off. So, you know, it's, it's a little bit of a transition. Like you said, I ain't going to lie to you. Mine was a transition too, but I didn't have, you know, your journey. However, though, it is important that uh, you bring that up. And uh, I will say that whoever's watching this, uh, I think you would agree with me. It's definitely good to get critiqued. And it's definitely good to get reviewed and ask your customers, hey, how was my performance? So that you can really fine tune your game and dial it in at an early stage in your career. So I don't think that was a bad thing. No, not, not at all. Not at all. And to your point, Brandon, you know, with the military and military members can relate to this, you know, you're rated on a consistent basis on, you know, your performance. And so, just like you're talking about at Sears, it's it's difficult when you're in the middle of a rating and somebody's telling you that, you know, you're not the cream of the crop, so to speak. You know, <laughs> you're thinking, you're, you know, you think you're 100 percent and they're telling you, well, you know, you're at 75 and there's room to grow to get you to 90, you know. Um, but all those sessions and all that feedback. It just keeps building you along the years. Like it, it builds into who you are. It makes you a better person. Um, the mentors that pour out to you, um, they all add to your profile and your effectiveness. And then when you get to this point where, you know, you want to do something else or you want to do something greater in the military, you know, you don't always have to be a transition thing. Um, all those experiences, man, they, they're, they're just key to your success. And I look back every day I go out and I do an appliance job today. I look back and I'm like, man, I'm pulling all these skills from these different roles and responsibilities that I had in the military, you know, and it's just, it just, it just seems so much easier because I've taken that feedback, you know, Hey, look, I, there's always room to grow, but I'm a lot further today than I was when I started back as, you know, an E1, <laughs> E2, uh, you know, back at the beginning of my career. So, I mean, just just kind of all is, you know, um, a, a great opportunity to have somebody pour into you and, and, and really give you that objective feedback that, you know, you don't need, you, you don't see. Otherwise, it's going to be a blind spot and it's going to rear his head every time you're trying to move to the next level. So take that feedback and man, count it, count it as a, a great opportunity to get better. Brother, that's 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 good words. Again, guys, uh, listen to this man here. This man is is, is a decorated officer. Um, they they probably been to a, over a thousand trainings, uh, paid for by the military, <laughs> dealt with all type of uh, you know uh, human encounters. But man, that appliance repair, contractor, uh, customer relation, it takes time to learn the nuances of that to learn how to deal with customer, learn how to sweet talk, learn how to put your pride to the side, learn how to just sometimes, it's better to just not even argue. You know, so it takes a little bit of dealing with to learn the customer, but man, look at you, you did good, Lamar. Okay, fast forward a little bit. Now you're rolling. You did okay. the military. Okay. Now you're doing TV mountain course, and now you've incorporated appliance repair. How did you get your appliance repair training? You said, how do I get to appliance repair training? Yeah, like, like no, where did, like, how did, you, like, like, I know you're doing now the mountain. Right. You incorporated appliance repair. Now you're rocking and rolling. You're running right. calls. You, you, you dealing with some shady, you know, lead generation plays. <laughs> but you're in the swing. You're in the swing. Right. How, how, how'd you get your training? How, how'd you get your appliance training? What were you working on? How did appliance repair and you, you know, be, how did th that, that merge begin? How did that transition take place? Okay. Hey, no problem. So what I did was um, I signed up for the appliance boot camp down in, uh, down in North Carolina. Um, Mike so, Sneed. Uh, yep. Brother Mike Sneed. What's good, um, Mike? Yep. I was one of the, you know, I'll probably say maybe like the fifth or sixth class. Um, so, you know, it was just starting, they were kind of working it out. You know, it was one of those, 
they said, hey, you know, come down for a weekend. You know, we'll teach you A to Z, yada, yada. So I went down there. And what I did, Brandon, is I had a guy working with me at uh, Geek Squad. And so, young brother. And so I took him down there with me. You know what I mean? I paid his way, bought him a ticket because he, he was an enterprising young guy. And I, I said, hey, this is a way that you can kind of, you know, improve your lot in life and learn a skill set. Uh, he was highly mechanical. So, you know, that was my way of giving back. So send him down there, let him drive my car. Okay. Think about that. <laughs> Give my keys and say, Hey, come on, meet me down there. I flew down there. I wasn't driving down North Carolina. Um, but yeah, um, got, got that training, uh, came on back uh, with that training. And I mean, I worked on everything, Brandon, like there was, there was not an appliance I wouldn't touch, you know? So, because I want to get as many reps in as possible. So I signed up with about five warranty companies uh, in my area and, um, you know, just started running, just started running calls just, uh, on evenings, weekends. Um, it, yeah, it didn't matter. Beginning of the day, middle of the day did not matter at all. Um, had my daughter working with me, my wife running the office. Um, so yeah, we just, we, we were, we were heavy on warranty. I, I would say when we, you know, first got trained, it was about 80% warranty, 20% COD. Um, and like I said, just trying to get reps in and then got a little more experience. And I, I was scared of refrigerators at first. And I'll be honest with you. OK. You know, my wife calls it. Hey, somebody's refrigerator is not cool. I'm like, oh, you know, I, I don't know how confident I'm with that. You, know, you got any dryers? <laughs> you got any, you got any dishwasher? <laughs> you know, so finally, look, EMM, you, you put some good modules out there. I started looking at yours. And I was looking at uh, Summerai. Yeah, looking at yours and Summerai. And then, um, I, look, I just I just stepped out there, man. Just started doing them. Started doing them. Started listening to Voxer, you know, Durham and those guys. So it just, I mean, hey, look, I had, I had a couple setbacks. You know, a couple that I misdiagnosed and had to give money back. But, hey, that's just part of the process, you know. You think you think you the only you think I never did that? You think <laughs> Samurai ain't do that? You think Sneed ain't do that? And you there's not one appliance where I speak for them, and I'm not even sure, but I know because I've been doing this long enough to know. Ain't nobody escaped that. We right. all go through it. It's just part of the game, bro. Absolutely. And shout out to those great men, and shout out to what they do, man. You know, I, as a matter of fact. Um, yeah, Samurai, he spits out real good uh, 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 stuff, man. So I'm glad uh, that you 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 ran across some different influences, right? Some different perspectives, some different blueprints, and I'm glad you was able to draw upon all of those years of of, of appliance repair. You know, you flattened your curve out a lot, Lamar. I don't think you realize it. I think you're a lot further you are in the year of you doing what you do than I was at the year I was doing what I did. How many years you've been doing this now? So uh, I went full time January 1st of this year. Oh, my God. Yeah, you're flying over me. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we started the sea in October of 2020. Um, and like I said, I was doing it part time. So, yeah, this year, January 1st, it was just. My commander said, my commander said, go for it, you know? So look, I, we went running, man. And um, yeah, I feel, I feel like this year has really been a growth year for us, um, especially having the opportunity to come down to Florida and take your hands-on training. Um, that, I'll be honest, that was a game changer for us. That was a game changer because- Well, 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 well Let me get into this right now? Or you want, want me to wait? Well, I mean, you know, I'm not one here to go against the grain. And since you want to twist my arm and, you know, give okay. me a free segue, let, let's talk <laughs> about it, man. Let's talk about you and refrigerators. And let's talk about, now, Lamar. Okay. Brother, you've seen me in real life. Yep, absolutely. We spoke off, we spoke off the camera. Now we're speaking on the camera. And I'm not going to change the narrative. Okay. Just like, you know, I have, look, I'm in a different, um, I'm in a different career now. I'm, I'm in a different transition myself, Lamar. You know who my customer now is? My fellow comrade. Okay. And I have to deliver to them. 
I'm promising this and I'm promising that. And it's making me have to go revamp my whole program, start to finish, work on processes, do this, do that, just yeah. so that my client base now, right? You, the, 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 the technician, when you guys come down here, it means the world to me. I, and I don't say that cliche, bro. I don't say that cliche. It truly does mean the world to me. Your experience, your level of training, your expectations, and your overall, you know, takeaway, you know, good and bad. It, it, it's only critique for me and Brother Rick. Shout out to Brother Rick. Please hit the like button for Brother Rick. But, you know, please, your two cents, your experience, your, your, act like it was a vlog. Go ahead. Good and bad, everything. Go ahead. I'm all ears. Okay. Hey, no problem. So um, a big thing for me was, and, and, and what, the reason why I signed up for the course is because although I did refrigeration, I took classes online, I took your weekly classes um, that you were holding at the time, um, I realized that I just wasn't as confident as I felt I needed to be going to customers' homes. So, hey, middle of COVID, you said, hey, I have a hands-on course I'm offering down here. I jumped all over it, you know, flew down from Louisville down to Florida, took advantage of it. And the big, the big thing for me was number one, you had all the, you had all the different brand refrigerators there, you know? So Samsung and LG were two that I really um, needed some help with. Okay. Um, so you had those refrigerators there. And then the third thing is we did hands on, like I have taken a lot of, online classes i've i won't say who but i've driven to a state and took a weekend seal systems course and still could not come back and change um a compressor on a refrigerator okay so i came down to you you took us from point a to you know point b and you said hey you guys are going to do hands-on you're not going to stand around you, you, you're going to get a feel for this and then the second part about that is we were able to take the um, refrigerators and learn how to test from the board. That's a big yeah. thing. You know, at that point, I was kind of going to a house and they're like, hey, here's the issue. First thing I'm doing is taking off the back wall in the freezer and trying to get a frost pattern, <laughs> you know. No. So, so, you know, so at least that way, um, you know, it was, it was a disciplined process just to make sure we knew it and we could touch it and we could do it and replicate it. So... The fact that I was able to get one of these refrigerators cooling, hey, I, I was good to go. I, I, I could take that back home. Um, so the best part about it was we were able to work as peers. So I had a group of, I think there was three of us that were pretty much together um, at the refrigerator, you know, and we would talk through things, talk about. Who was your three? Who was your three? Um, it was the two guys. It was two guys from Detroit. There was the HVAC oh, guy. They did, they did HVAC and appliances. Sean and Allen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Great, yeah, great guy. Because look. Hey, them HVAC brothers were sharp, though, man. Yeah, yeah. That HVAC now helped me, I, man. Because you know, they, I, I, I was surprised they, they really. I, you know what I think it was with them? I think they knew the theory. I think they had the confidence. Yep. They just needed to see it done one or two times. And they was like, got it. Because them brothers was, they was on the, on, they were on the, on, on point. They were on point with everything. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So they were educating me on, you know, the whole co cooling side and, you know, the refrigerant and stuff like that. And I was kind of educating them on, you know, hey, how you run service calls and some of the issues that you have, you know, and it, it was just a good mix. Um, but yeah. Brother, I want to I want to interrupt you real quick and I beg your pardon. Listen, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I, you know, I'm 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 edging myself. I don't feel like I'm quite. Uh, uh, experienced enough to say I've been teaching for a while, but I, I've been teaching private. I've been teaching YouTube. You know, I, I like to teach game. I like it. It's just, I like to teach people. I don't know. It's just something I like, but I say what I have to say this. I could see students, uh, interest level and I could tell what guys are there because they think that if I learn seal system, I'm gonna make money. I just gotta learn how to change the compressor. Just show right. me that. Just show me the that part. <laughs> right. They forget, like, yeah, but, but 
growth, yeah, you could change it, but you have to know why you changing it. You may change it and it may still be broke. So we have to teach you everything. So you got that. Then right. you got some guys that it's like, they, 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 they got the good intentions and they want to be there, but it's just a lot. And it seems a little challenged. You got some brothers that they just boring because they got it dialed in. But then they got guys like you. You could tell you came prepared. I noticed you came with your tablet. You had your doc, your your schematics already pre-downloaded. When you mentioned troubleshooting from the board, you wasn't using the schematic on the fridge, or you were using your tablet. And I was very impressed with you, and I was very proud of you. And when I looked at you, I, I said to myself, I said, okay, now this brother, he's a, a consummate professional, and this he's going to go far in the industry. And uh, I just want to say that you're, the way you conducted yourself in class, if it's a reflection of how you do outside, yeah, you in a good place, bro. And I'm proud of you. And I'm proud that, uh, you know, you came down here. Okay. So you, but let's, can, let's stay on that though. So you, you, you start take, so you take in the course, okay. whatever, what, what, what was your, what was your, what was, uh, uh, what was your highlight? What, what was the highlight of that? You, what was like the, the defining moment where you, I know you said that the, the troubleshooting from the board, what about the dealing with the torches, the actual, you know, dealing with, with, with compressors and, and, and bending copper and, the prep work, what, what's your take on SEAL system? Has any of that training helped you now? Have any of our words, you've seen it now? Or remember I said, Lamar, write this down. Has any of those moments, Lamar, write this down. Have you seen any of them now in the field? Has any of this training helped you? Was it worth it? And what can we improve on? I know I'm throwing a lot of questions at you, but I think you can handle it. Yeah, so let's let, let's break it down piece by piece. Okay, so first off, um, I'll start with because I'm a systems guy, so I like to see all the pieces come together, and so and so that's what it did for us because it 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 walked in the military we call it crawl walk run. So you 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 gave us the instruction up front. You know, it's kind of some of the stories you and brother Rick kind of broke it down. Okay, hey, you know, help us understand. And I was asking a lot of questions, you know, and, and y'all took the time to answer all my questions because I, I, I'm like, I want to know why is this such a big deal. Um, so you answered my questions, and then right, we got we were, we were able to do hands on, but the be the best part of the hands on was when we ran into problems. You know, everybody had some type of problem, and we all learned from the problems that they ran into. Um, so yeah, you know, as I'm sitting there trying to braise, or you know, sitting there trying to, you know or you, you, you finish brazing and you know, you didn't, you didn't prep your copper good enough. So now it's leaking, you know, and you gotta go back and you gotta, you know, undo what you did. Um, or, you know, you get it and the you know, compressor's not working on one of them. And, and we thought you would set us up, but that wasn't a setup. The compressor just really wasn't working. So, you know, we're sitting there trying to troubleshoot it. So it's like, we're going through the stuff that we're really gonna see um, on the job, <laughs> you know, and we have all the tools and everything right there. And, and some people, it wasn't all you and Brother Rick, you know, some of the classmates had seen something and they were asking about it, you know, and I'm like keying in and I'm trying to learn, you know, one of the big things was like the force defrost on the Samsung refrigerator, you know, I didn't know that, you know, and we're talking about it. You're like, you're like hey, what does the schematic say? Pull the schematic up. What does it tell you? Oh, you sorry. Know? Well, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I mean, but, but I you know, I get a little passionate, but only right. that's for a good course. A absolutely. Um, so that part was good. That part was great. Now, I think you modified it now, but there were a lot of people and, not, you know, not a lot of space. So I know we were kind of crowding around the machine. Sometimes it was like just hard to see and stuff. But I think you guys have kind of done the layout now. I think we were the first class, right? In, in that so, new building? Okay. So, right. You know, so, so, so that makes sense. Um, <laughs> we're not gonna we're not gonna bring it that big no more. We Rick and I said that was too many. We're gonna do eight is the cutoff. Right. Yeah, and I, and I think that'd be great because then every <laughs> look, nobody can hide in the shadows. You know, everybody has to get in there, get in deep, you know, and then if anybody runs into a problem, bam, you know, you're right there and you take care of it. But no, I, I get it. I mean, and you gotta kind of get that feel. I mean, that's just continuous improvement, you know, over over time you're gonna figure out what works. 
Brother, that? listen. You know, um, there's the, the there's also like the people who watch this channel, right? That you know just want to see the journey from start to finish. So I also got to show them the bag, you know. So I got to walk like a fine line on YouTube where I got to expose myself, you know, good and bad. And and the only thing I could do is improve. And um, I am doing that and I'm taking steps toward it. But be very clear, brother, I do want to deliver, you know, the best, period. You know, I mean, why get in it to not, you know, so... Thank you for the feedback and um, thank you for attending. Um, I will say that um, I drew a lot off of your class too. Rick and I realized that <clears throat> we were short a little bit on time and it's just the, the subject matter is so in depth. And, right. and that's what people don't realize, you know. Um, it, you know, it's very difficult to sell this course. It, it's not sexy just to sell refrigerator repair. Again, everybody wants to know, how do you change a compressor? But man, people don't realize that like out of 10 times visiting a refrigerator, maybe that's going to happen one or two times. Right. You know, like what about the other eight? And like I have to teach you like, you know, defrost systems. I have to teach you how to test an evaporator fan. I have to teach you what a condenser is, what the yoder is, what the capillary does. And, you know, a lot of a lot of people, you know, it's, it's, that's the hardest challenge to surmount is get past that. Everybody loves the hands on, you know, and when you try to do all that in four days, we couldn't, man. So uh, we, we decided to make it a fifth day. Right. And uh, we we actually working on modules now, man, probably like 32. I don't know. A lot, a, a large number of modules, like step by step mm -hmm. on refrigerator repair. Like step one, entering the customer's home. Step first things you do. Step two, and we're gonna do it all the way down to the complete compressor change out, like the whole thing. So we're gonna give that to you guys too, you guys who attended, and then and, and anybody who ever you know invested in us. So we're working on um, ways to add to the experience. We don't want to just sell you something and see you later, goodbye. Nah, we want to be a part of your growth, man. I want to be personally invested in your in your growth. Um, and, and like you say, you are a member of, of our Voxer community. Yep. <clears throat> and man, there's a whole revamp we're going to do on that now too. We got new rooms coming. Like we're going to have a TMM business chat where it's all business related. Hey, how you get this warranty? Hey, I want to sign on with that. Hey, how much you charge for this? Hey, what you do for your loan? So all business-related subject matter goes to that channel. Right. We're going to have one on seal systems. All seal system questions, all seal system inquiries. Not everybody wants to hear everything. Before the way our Voxer platform was, we had about one or two channels, like a technical one and then like a general one. Right now we're gonna break it down much more in depth, much more nuanced space. We have moderators like I'm working on processes and systems for TMM academics and boxers. One of those things. So, uh, as far as going back to what I was saying, seeing you grow, I'm improving my blade to right. make your uh, experience and growth much better. So, I'm working on making you great, even though you left to sum it up. And yeah. I'm going to continue to be a part of your uh, career. So is brother Rick. And uh, we, you, you invest with us, man. You like family members at this point. You can't fail. Nah, we're not going to see it. Yeah. And I will tell you, uh, being part of this, being part of this community has been critical to my growth. And what I akin it to, this is exactly what it reminds me of. In the military, I went to uh, I, I went to um, a year long course, and it was all about management, processes, operations, stuff like that. Okay, like that was my assignment for a whole year. Okay, but when I came out of that, all right, my ability to think bigger, have resources to do better. Um, was just magnified. And, and that's what you have given me. Because now 
I'm very confident when I'm talking to a customer because one of the one of the outcomes of taking your refrigeration course is that now when I go to a refrigeration call, I, I swear I'm spending five to 10 minutes just educating the customer and explaining to them how the whole system works, you know? And now, you know, before I kind of felt like I had a limited, you know, tool set, you know, now I, I'm breaking down, you know, the Yoda loop. I'm, I'm doing amp draws. <laughs> I never did an amp draw before, you know, I'm doing amp draw because, and brother Rick talked about it in class. It's like, you need to understand what right looks like so when you see wrong, you understand what's, what's really happening, you know? So now I walk in, you know, I'm, look, I'm taking temperatures, I'm doing amp draws, I'm on the board, you know, checking voltage, you know? Man, I, look, I'm just telling you, it's all about the, the tool set. And then guess what, if I run into a problem, and, and the customer's kind of impressed as I'm doing this, I run into a problem, I mean, hold on, ma'am, I have a network of some top technicians across the nation. It's kind of like a CB on the truck rate, you know? I'm hitting a button, I'm, da -da 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 -da. spin the answer back, you know? Man, look, you, you have a great network, man. I mean, you, you make it easy. You make it easy. I, I am a believer. I am a believer. So, yeah, good, good stuff. Thank you. Thank you. And um, it, it's about succeeding here. Okay, Lamar, listen. <clears throat> let's, let's, let's fast forward a little. Uh-oh. And then let's let's wrap up. But a few okay. more questions, and then we'll check out. Okay? okay. I wanna I wanna get to your day to day operation. Are you a single tech? A single tech operator? Um, right now I am. Um, I had a part time tech who uh, <laughs> who's a military member, so he was doing evenings and weekends, southern side of Louisville, closer to the base. But you know, I, I talked to him and I told him I said, hey man, I said, I said you're skilled. You are skilled. You need to create your own LLC. Take this because he's been with me since I was part of the franchise. He was mounting TVs and everything with me. So I said, you need to create your own LLC and start building your business. You know, and I'll help mentor you and start building you up. So yeah, he just got it. <clears throat> he just got his first warranty call today through First American Home Warranty. Um, so yeah, so right now it's just me. My wife runs the uh, the office. She does the office operations. My oldest daughter, she's 18. She does all the inventory. And then my son, he's 20. He rides with me on calls. So he's in college. So he's trying to make a little extra money. So I, I got him in the, in, the, in the van with me. Look at you, man. Family wealth, family generational wealth. Don't be distributing your workload. Absolutely. Prioritizing it. Okay. Absolutely. What's the, now, now okay. one or two more and I'm done. Okay. okay. What's the plan? What, where we at in five years? Where we at in ten years? And, and what's the what's the end goal? Five, ten in the end. Got it. All right. So, so number one, hey, let me just put it back up there. I'm a retired guy, you know. So I know I'm, I'm probably not hustling as hard as everybody else. <laughs> but um, yeah, at, at the end of the day, um, our plan is very simple, and I've I've been I, I've been preaching this for the last year and a half. So we're establishing a Louisville market, okay. I just created an LLC for Cincinnati. So Cincinnati is an hour northeast of Louisville. All right. So we have an apartment complex or townhome complex, sorry, 84, 84 residences that we do the appliances for. Um, so I'm, I'm hiring a tech out there. And so that's, that's, that's over the next 24 months. <clears throat> We're going to kind of build that establishment. And then from there, I'm going to Nashville. So Nashville is about two and a half hours south east of my location. Um, so those are the three locations that I want. So when I'm looking over the next three to five, I want to have a stronghold in Cincinnati, a stronghold in Nashville, and start building techs around that. Um, and after that, hey, look, I'm, I'm coasting with these three. Would this be my main hub? And I might move down to get in the center of those as we move forward. But right now, Louisville is where it's going to be at. And... <clears throat> Hey, I just plan. I just plan to run this business as long as I can, Brandon. Just three locations, and, and that's it. Some more texts, brother. Uh, before I let you go, I just want to, uh, man, say how impressed I am with you. And wow, you're you're uh, you got it together, man. You're you're a sharp guy, man. And uh, what are you driving, man? A Bentley. Rolls Royce, what are you driving? Oh, no, really, really? I'm, hey, I'm driving a, a Ram 1500. 
<laughs> no, nah, I'm just thinking, man, because, man, you gonna, you know, I ain't trying to count your money, man, but I know that military check all look good. You know, I know you're talking about being one of the major players in one of the major cities with the services that you offer. And brother, I don't think you realize, like, how far ahead you are in the game, man. You know things that a lot of guys that have been doing this a lot of time don't know. And, uh, you know, so, you, like I said, man, you're flat and you're learning curve out a lot, substantially. So I'm just thinking, man, you know, you got that military uh, <clears throat> retirement. You know, you got this on the, coming in. And this ain't no small penny. This ain't no small nickel. So you're in the driver's seat, man. Congratulations, man. I think that uh, appliance repair served well. I like the transition from military to appliance repair. And thank you for being my first uh, veteran. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. And... Uh, before I let you go, I, I know that you said you do TV mountain. That's correct. That's correct. Yeah. And you also you also have a TV mountain course, correct? That is that is correct. Yes. So yeah, I mean, you no, go, go to Google, ahead. type in. Oh, go ahead. Elaborate. Tell me all about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go to Google, type in TV mountain course, and and also have a. Um, Say it uh, one more time, slower, brother. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, if you go to Google and type in TV mounting course. Our, our TV mounting course comes up and I also have a Facebook group. But what's the name of it? It comes up. They're going to see 20 or 30. What's your name? Yeah, my, 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 it's just TV mounting course is the name of the course. Okay. And what's the, the website, the actual website name? Yeah, so that it's on Teachable. So if you type in TV mounting course space Teachable, T-E-A-C-H-A-B-L-E, my course will come up. Okay, okay. Yeah, and, well, and I'm part of the Facebook group for the TV mounting course too. Well, brother, listen, I want to, I want to get you down here to South Florida, right? Okay. I want to do, I want, let's, let's do a collaboration. Right. And if you guys are interested and in added now, brother Lamar, you, you know, I don't know what your sales pitch is like, but I'll tell you what, uh, <laughs> this only works as good as you promote it. You understand the way that works. Let me right. tell you a little side story. One time, you know, and, and shout out to this brother. If you're watching this brother, you know I love you, man. But I say this to others could draw off that. And we could, you know, learn from that. But brother, uh, you know, you gotta you gotta promote your 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 thing, right? <clears throat> One time I had a guy on he was gonna, I was interviewing him and he was trying to sell something. And uh, you know, he was in the beta phases and he had one or two quirks, and I told him, like, look, why don't we take a break? come back and in the midst of that dude is like man I'm not I'm not I'm not in this for the money <laughs> I mean brother if you're not in for the money then how are we gonna make this work but uh you know uh, I, I would like I would like uh uh you to take an opportunity myself yeah. included uh and give me a little bit of a pitch about the TV mountain industry tell me if if you don't mind I know we're coming up on the hour but please I don't mind at all Okay. Please, please tell me about the TV mountain industry. Tell me about adding that to our repertoire of appliance repair. And uh, like I said, finally, would you be interested in some sort of a joint collaboration coming on down here to uh, TMM? You know, I got a facility. You bring your your uh, curriculum and we promote it and we do a little cross uh, branding. Would you be interested on uh, doing something like that? Absolutely. All right. So yeah, let me let me, let me put, do my pitch right off the cuff. So get your pitch TV, on, brother. Get your pitch on. TVMountingCourse.teachable.com um, is the web address. And so the big thing about TV mounting, especially as we're uh, hitting the holiday season, there's a lot of people just they, they don't want to mess with it. They want to they want to clean install. You know, you go into a house, you have your 82 inch, 75 inch TV. You know, you want to clean install. You want it to look nice, no wires showing, whatever, all your stuff hooked up, just seamless because it's, it's the center of their, their entertainment in the home. Um, so, I mean, we built a business off of mainly TV mounting. Um, I had a contract with, so I worked for Geek Squad and Best Buy, but when I left there, I went back as a subcontractor. So they would call us to go to do the TV mounting, um, to fix mountings other people you know, had done. We were running six or seven jobs a day, um, just just mounting TVs. So it's, I mean, the money's there, the demand is there. 
everybody's, you know, trying to get the bigger flat screen, the thinner flat screen. And, you know, we're doing the speaker hooks, hookups and everything. So, uh, yeah, it, it did it did well for us. We got a lot of leads through uh, different sources and some of the same sources that we're getting appliance leads through. Like, I know, like, Brandon, you're on Thumbtack. Um, that was one of my leading drivers uh, for getting TV mounting leads. You know, you charge them, I would say, on average, $175. Uh, to mount a TV, spending an hour of your time there. There's no, hey, look, you don't have to come back with parts because all you do is go in there, you mount it one time, and boom, on to the next job. So it could be good filler work for you, especially if you're running appliances, you just need something to fill your schedule in. But let, yeah, me, let, me, ask, <clears throat> let me ask you a question, brother. Yep. Average on a good and then a bad. This is part of that sales thing. But one thing I learned about sales, brother, okay. you have to be realistic because we live in a transparent age. Right. You usually leave bad comments, you'll get ran out of town. I learned the game will expose you quick. Mm -hmm. So you can't have no charlatan in you. Realistically, if I right. was to, if I, brother B, was to invest in this with a uh, course, right? And right. I said, okay, I'll take this course online or I'll fly down there, whatever. What what kind of uh, profit, you know? I, I said average, and like again, don't don't give me the best, but don't give me the worst. Give me like a, like in the middle number. If I if I take if I purchase this course, what kind of you know, what kind of number can a can a gentleman or a gentle lady you know look at you know, adding this to their to their to their you know tools of the of the trade. Got it. So I look at it two different ways. So, you know, one, you have the person who's going to use it as, as filler work. I mean, just to be straight up about it. So, hey, they're working a job or they're doing appliances full time and they're just like, hey, you know, I, I, I mounted one for my uncle or aunt or something. I think I can I can do this. You know, I would say that person's going to run about one or two calls a day. And so they're going to. They're going, so let's, let's back up. So they're going to have the customer, most of the times the customer is going to have their own mount that they're going to purchase, okay? They're going to say, hey, I went on Amazon, I found this mount. They're trying to save money. All right, got that. So their labor, 65-inch TV, their labor is going to be about 155 to 165. So that's what they're going to make. So you time that by two. And we'll go, we'll go low. We'll, we'll go one, we'll go 155. Okay. So then what? You got 300 and what's 150? 310. So it's 310 bucks probably a day just doing those two TVs. But now if you have somebody who's running six to eight calls a day, then you know just take that 155 times times by seven. Let's go to the middle. Let's go 155 times seven. What you got there? So, one thousand eighty-five. Yeah, so one thousand eighty-five. Because I'm taking out the mount because customers are usually going to provide that anyway. And plus, if you buy the mount yourself, I mean, I hate to say it, there's not a lot of markup on mounts because I mean, people people know what the prices of those are. That's pretty uh, transparent. That's, yeah, that's pretty transparent. You know. Mm, yeah, yeah, but this, listen, listen, listen. This isn't about getting rich off that. Right. This is just uh, respectfully, unless I'm wrong. I'm just telling you, I'm, I'm just adding another tool to the belt, brother. Brother, you know what my belt looked like? Man, I just gave a good course, man. Man, I just gave a good course. It was about board repair. Man, it was, I learned so much. Like, that's a trade now, like how you feel with seal systems that you can't wait and you, you are ready for it. Right. I'm, I'm already on my board repair game. So I added that to my repertoire. Now I'm adding um, um TV installation. Eesh, that's ugly, man. In addition to seal system, blah, blah, blah. Like, man, you know, it's about adding different um skill sets to your belt, man. Because like you said, man, they carry you when times are slow. They extra skill sets that you can teach your techs. <clears throat> I guess the more you learn, the more you earn. It's as simple as that. Absolutely. But now I will tell you, I mean, just for the, your audience, TV mounting is seasonal. I mean, I, I'll be honest with you about that. Like from now to the end of the year, the demand is, is going through the roof, you know. So, hey, you know, like for me, I'm going to go back and I'm going to do some of that over the holiday season 
And then as we go back into appliance season, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm like wide open on appliances, but I'm going to take advantage of the people who are ordering, ordering all these TVs and, you know, they are not going to put it up, you know, and need somebody to put it up. So I'm, I'm going to be the guy who's right there, you know, ready to do it and trying to do it the same day or next day. Um, that's another thing. You know, if, if you can tell somebody, hey, I can be there today to mount your TV, you, you'll win out over the competition. It says, hey, I'm, I'm booked out, man. It's going to be a two or three days. You know, people want it when they want it. That, that's a big thing. You know, and in my zip codes, people are buying 85, 75 inch, 75, 85 inch TVs all day long. Nobody's calling me to put up 55 inch TVs. They want the big stuff put up. Bro, I'm trying to win the customer all the way around the board. I'm trying to answer all their solutions. So you know what? If I get in the door because I fixed their TV, that's yep. fine. But guess what? Now they know that I could fix their refrigerator. I could fix their dishwasher. I could fix their wash. I could fix their dry. I could fix their oven and garbage disposal. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so right. it's, about, it's about adding different skill sets to your um <clears throat> to your um. Like I said, repertoire, man. Yo, Lamar, you know, I'm in the phase now, man. I, I'm about to, like, uh, I, I read this book called uh, The E-Myth Revisited. Bro, I know you got to go, bro, and I appreciate you. Oh, no, no, I'm listening. I'm, I'm learning, man. To, I'm not trying to hold you hostage, man. Thank you, man. But we having good dialogue. Yep. But, um, brother, I read this book called The E-Myth Revisited, right? And man, you know, it was all about processes and systems. And man, I, I bought this um, program called Lucid Chart and, and it breaks down like all my processes. And man, I'm, I'm, I'm about 90% done with that thing, man, that I could really say, I could really put that thing on automatic. I, I literally got a step-by-step -step breakdown of everything. I'm about to, you know, <clears throat> really give this over to a tech and have him handle the bulk of this so I could, you know, really focus on the YouTube thing, maybe two techs, whatever. But I learned that processes and systems are life. Yes. Even, and, and yeah, I'm saying I, I'm even working on them on my academic program. And, um, you know, I'm just uh, trying myself to, uh, why am I selling you this, brother? I lost track. I'm sorry, <laughs> no, no problem. We're talking about processes and lucid and yeah, yeah but you know? what was we were talking about with the TV mounting course? You were talking about uh, adding this to your skill set. You got slow times. You want yeah, to seasonal. The house it's seasonal. Right. You know, I add this. I do this. I do this. You know, I'm just oh yeah, I know why. I'm saying your repertoire this because brother, yeah, I know why I'm saying all this because yeah. brother, listen, I'm not trying to be the one that's gonna do all of this. See, the way I want to, the way I look at this, if I learn TV mountain, my guy's going to learn TV mountain. And I don't got to do it no more. And right. now I have processes. Now I have systems. Once you sign up, that's in your job description. There's an actual process on how to do this. There's an actual course on how to do this. There's training. There's tech support. Like now that's an added income to my brand. I ain't right. going to be the one doing this. So, you know, to these guys and gals uh, with these, um, we living in a, in a gold rush now, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all could think I'm a salesman. Y'all could think I'm trying to take down money. But some of y'all could think I'm real and I'm telling the truth. But we living in a gold rush. And there's never been a time like this <clears throat> where you can learn all these a la carte trades that, make you money ASAP <clears throat> and you don't need like no college no four year education none of that I'm talking about brother brother Lamar if you was to come down here right and you and I was to piece together an airtight cream of the crop syllabus you know my style and I know how you get down so you know we gonna put together the best of the best but of course like that how many days we talking uh, two days a weekend yeah. course. A weekend, man, definitely a weekend. Down here. Man, I learned this week. You know what I'm saying? I add this to my repertoire. Let's say I'll make 40, 50. You know what I mean? Just that one year. The year on top of that. The year on top of that. Now, my text is doing that. Now, I incorporate that into my business. There's a process for it. This is a new service we offer. I can't lose, man. 
And that's what that's what I'm trying to, that's why I say, man, like this YouTube thing, this this generation we in, it's a gold mine, man. Take advantage, ladies and gentlemen, of these opportunities. There's never been a time like this. This was never possible before, you know. So Lamar, let's definitely get together and let's definitely uh, do something you and I. But in the meantime, in between time, if they want to just jump the line and get right to you, they can go over to what? Yeah, tvmounting.teachable.com. Excellent. Brother, yeah. uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. tvmountingcourse.teachable.com. tvmountingcourse.teachable.com. No problem, brother. Brother, if anybody wants to reach out to you via Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, any way we can uh, uh, email any. Uh, your your message spoke to some vet. Uh, they want to talk to you offline. And he, do you feel comfortable exchanging uh, your, your your you know contact? Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. So if somebody wants to reach out to me, I, I, I'm always open to talk to veterans. It's a uh, l l station ten at gmail dot com. I try to keep it easy. L station ten at gmail dot com. Just shoot, drop me a line. Brother, you have anything you want to add? No, man. Hey, I appreciate the opportunity to kind of talk my journey a little bit. And um, like I said, I, I always make time to talk to our veterans. And I just want, you know, especially veterans to know that this is a great career to transition from the military. Like all the skills that we've learned, man, they directly transfer here. And um, the demand is, is so high. It's just a great opportunity uh, for your retirement and post-military career. And I'll be happy to share my journey with you. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube's premier off the clock appliance repair talk, off the clock appliance repair text. I'm your host with the most, Brother B, and you could be anywhere in the world, but you with me and Brother Lamar, and we appreciate that. Brother Lamar, love, peace, and harmony. Thank you for your service. Thank you for coming on down here, uh, you know, investing in us. Uh, brother, I tell you this from the bottom of my heart, anything that's within my reach is yours. I have a personal investment in your career. Good luck. Thank you for being on the show tonight. Godspeed. And the floor is yours. Please say goodbye to the audience. Hey, thanks, Brandon. Hey, thanks, everybody. Um, hey, take this training, take these opportunities. This brother right here is passionate about what he does. He believes in excellence and he's building us. And hey, my business is the direct result of that. So I give a lot of credit to Brandon and what he's doing down there. Thanks, Brandon. Appreciate you. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. In the meantime, in between time, take care. Thank you, Lamar. Thank you.